hey guys welcome back now in this video let's see how you can implement doubly linked list by utilizing the memory efficiently so let's start so in the general case we have a doubly linked list node structure like this we have a data field it may be integer character or any type of data then we have two pointers namely previous and next previous is used to store the address of previous node and next is used to store the address of next node so you can traverse the list in forward direction as well as in the backward direction to traverse the list in forward direction we use the next pointer to traverse the list in backward direction we use the previous pointer so this is the simple logic of doubly linked list now the drawback of this doubly linked list is that uh, we are having two extra pointers for example if our system takes two bytes for integer and four bytes four bytes for pointer then the single node will take 2 plus 4 plus 4 that is 10 bytes in memory so to overcome this uh, particular memory issue we use a single pointer so to achieve this we use the XOR linked list or you can say the memory efficient doubly linked list now what we do in this uh, we have a node structure like this we have a data field and we have a npx so npx represent XOR of previous node address with next node address so we represent it like this n next node p previous and x is the XOR operation so what we do instead of storing both the pointers previous and next we simply take XOR of previous node and next node keep in mind we are not XORing the data we are XORing the memory address of next and previous node so let's take a look look at how our linked list becomes so we have 0 for null as we don't have any node prior to this so we'll say 0 XOR 106 so 106 is the address of next node so we will do npx here this is our data and this is the memory address of a node so to the next node we use 100 XOR 112 so that is 100 is the previous node 112 is the next node and like this you can use for all the nodes in the list now the question arise how you are going to access the list so it's very simple consider you are at this node that is 106 memory address uh, your data is 50 now you want to move to the next node to achieve this you can use the simple logic next node is equal to address of previous node that is 100 XOR with the NPX of the current node that is the result of this 100 XOR 112 and address of previous node that is 100 that is XOR so ultimately what you are writing 100 XOR 100 XOR 112 so you are going to get the 112 itself so this is the simple logic of accessing the next node and you can also traverse the list in backward direction one more point to note in this uh, memory efficient doubly linked list is that you need to keep track of the previous node so that's all if you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel for more such videos